Hi, in this video, I will show you how two AI will have a conversation around monetizing their Facebook group and all the concerns that they have. In the next couple of minutes, you're going to hear their entire conversation all generated by AI. It's super cool. Let's dive on into the conversation between Tom and Joe. Hey, Tom, my name's Joe. What inspired you to schedule this call today with me? Well, I've been thinking about ways to grow my coaching business, but I'm not convinced that monetizing a Facebook group is the right direction. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's worth the effort. Would you like to continue from here? I hear you, Tom. I know it can sound a bit unconventional at first. A lot of people feel the same way when they're thinking about how to grow their business. But let me ask you, what specifically makes you feel like Facebook groups aren't the right fit for you? Honestly, it just feels like adding more to my plate. I already have enough to do with coaching and trying to get clients consistent, managing a Facebook group, and then trying to monetize. It sounds like it could become a time sink. Plus, I'm not sure my audience would even want to pay for anything in the group. Most of them just seem to enjoy the free content. I get that, Tom. It makes sense that you're worried about adding more to your plate especially when you're already juggling coaching and finding clients. But here's the thing. Running a Facebook group the right way actually frees up your time. Exactly. Instead of having one-on-one -on -one sales like conversations and over and over, the group allows you to connect with many potential clients at once. I mean, what if people don't even want to pay? You can build trust faster with a larger audience. So when you do make an offer, it's not like starting from scratch every time. As for people only wanting free content, I hear that a lot. What I've seen happen though, is that when you structure your group strategically, you're creating value in a way that naturally leads people to want more from you, specifically your high ticket offers. And those who are just there for free content, they help boost engagement and credibility in the group, but they don't take away from the people who are ready to invest in themselves. How does that sound in terms of saving time and focusing on the right clients? I see what you're saying, and I get the idea that it could help focus on the right clients. But honestly, I'm still a bit unsure if that'll work for me. It sounds good in theory, but I just don't know if the people in my group are really ready to invest in high ticket offers. Tom, I totally get where you're coming from. It's normal to have doubts when you're unsure if the people in your group are really ready to invest at a higher level. But here's the thing, with the right approach, you can start attracting more of those high quality clients who are willing to invest. It's not just about who's in your group now, but how we set it up to draw in the right kind of people going forward. One of the key things we do in Group Convert Ignite is teach you how to qualify people as they join your group. This way, you're building a pool of members who are more likely to see the value in what you offer and are ready to take that next step with you. It's not about the quantity, but the quality of people in your group. How does that sound in terms of making sure the right people are coming into your space? I guess that could help filter out the ones who aren't serious. But how do I actually get those high quality people to join in the first place? I'm not sure if my group has that kind of pull right now. That's a great point, Tom. And I hear you on that. It's not just about filtering. It's about drawing the right people in from the start. What we focus on in Group Convert Ignite is teaching you how to position your group so that it naturally attracts those high quality clients. A big part of that is creating what I call magnetic content. Content that speaks directly to the pain points of your ideal clients while also showing them the value you bring. When you consistently provide that kind of value, people start seeing your group as a place they need to be. Plus, we'll walk you through strategies like leveraging other communities, using paid traffic if necessary, and optimizing your group's visibility to bring those ideal clients to you. Once they're in, the group does a lot of the heavy lifting by building trust and nurturing those relationships. 
How does that sound in terms of making your group more attractive to the right people? That actually makes a lot of sense. Positioning the group to attract the right people sounds like it could work. Managing a group, creating all this content sounds like a lot. And I'm already spread thin. How do I handle that without burning out? I completely get that, Tom. Time is one of the biggest concerns, especially when you're already stretched thin with coaching and other commitments. The last thing you want is to burn out. What's great about this approach yeah, exactly. is that it actually streamlines your client acquisition process. Instead of constantly doing one-on-one -on -one outreach or chasing lead, your group works as a system that builds relationships and nurtures clients at scale. We'll also teach you how to repurpose your content so you're not always creating new material from scratch. You can use what you already have. And there are tools and strategies we use to automate a lot of the engagement in the group. Plus, once you get the group running smoothly, you'll actually spend less time on client acquisition than you do now. Does that help ease some of your concerns about the time commitment? Yeah, that definitely helps. If I can repurpose the content and use automation, it sounds more manageable. The idea of the group helping with client acquisition at scale is starting to make sense too. I just didn't want to be stuck constantly creating new things. All right, I'm starting to see how this could work. I'm really glad to hear that, Tom. That's exactly the goal, to make this manageable and scalable so you're not stuck on a content treadmill or feeling overwhelmed. Once you have this system in place, it really does take a lot of the pressure off and the group starts working for you. So if you're feeling good about the direction, we can dive into Group Convert Ignite and get you set up with everything you need to start implementing this for your business. How does that sound for your next step? You know what? That actually sounds like a solid next step. If it's going to help take some of the pressure off and streamline things, I'm in. Let's go ahead and get started with Group Convert Ignite. That's awesome, Tom. I'm excited for you to get started. You're going to see how much smoother things get once the system is up and running. I'll make sure you have everything you need to get going with Group Convert Ignite. Let's get you set up and on your way. Appreciate it. I'm looking forward to seeing how this can really help with scaling things up. Let's do this.